It's estimated that there are as many as 3.1 million Americans living with inflammatory bowel disease, IBD, according to the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. While there are treatment options available, little is understood about diet's role in the management of symptoms of Crohn's disease. Joining us now is Dr. James Lewis, primary investigator of Dine CD, and Andrea Meyer, a longtime Crohn's disease patient. Doctor, what are inflammatory bowel diseases and what conditions fall under the IBD umbrella? Well, there are two main diseases that fall under the umbrella of inflammatory bowel disease. These are ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. They're both chronic relapsing inflammatory disorders that involve our intestines, the main distinction being that ulcerative colitis only involves the colon or the large intestines, whereas Crohn's disease can involve any part of the intestines. Doctor, why is diet an interest for IBD patients and what impact has diet been shown to have on patients? Well, let me start with the first part of your question and say that in general, you know, anybody who's having abdominal pain, diarrhea, they want to know what's causing that. And it's intuitive to just think to yourself, it must be influenced by what I'm eating. What's becoming increasingly interesting is the concept that they might be right, that what you're eating may truly have an impact on the course of the disease. And there's a variety of evidence that points to this. Some of this, for example, is evidence from looking at people who don't yet have Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis and showing that their dietary patterns influence their likelihood of going on to be newly diagnosed. And then what we're more interested in is in some ways the more relevant question, now that I have the disease, what should I do? And so we're trying to understand how you can uh, adjust your diet once you've been diagnosed to make the disease course be as quiescent as possible over time. Doctor, can you tell us about the DINE CD study? Yeah, thank you for asking. Uh, the DINE CD trial is a randomized clinical trial comparing two different diets as a treatment for mild to moderate Crohn's disease. And the two diets are a Mediterranean style diet, which essentially would be what the US government tells us we should be eating every day. Lots of fruits and vegetables, lean meats, olive oil as your primary source of fat. And the second diet is referred to as the specific carbohydrate diet. And this is a more restrictive diet that takes certain foods out of what you're able to eat. And anecdotally, it's been reported to have beneficial effects for patients with Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, and indeed a number of other inflammatory disorders. Doctor, what do you hope to learn from the study results? Well, I think the, the real question that we're asking is whether one of these diets is better than the other in terms of managing Crohn's disease. Uh, on the one hand, if uh, the Mediterranean style diet is as good or better than the specific carbohydrate diet, it's much easier to follow and has added health benefits such as living longer. And on the flip side, if the specific carbohydrate diet turned out to be more effective, then it's probably worth the increased restrictive nature of the diet to keep people's disease under control. Thank you. Andrea, can you tell, tell us what it's like for someone living with Crohn's disease? Sure. Um, I guess the first thing I'm going to say is it depends on the day. <laughs> um, I was diagnosed about 18 years ago now, and um, for the better part of a decade, if not more, it was stomach pain, frequent trips to the bathroom, rapid weight loss at times, um, sometimes even other seemingly unrelated but found out were related symptoms, like I would have um, skin irritation and joint pain and things like that. Um, and a few years ago, I started heading towards wanting to see if I could take a more active role in managing my disease. Um, and like Dr. mentioned, one of the first places I went to is what's the thing I have um, pretty direct control over, and it was what I was putting in my mouth and in my body. So um, definitely took an active 
interest in looking at how diet was affecting me personally. So I'm really, really excited that there is now a formalized trial that's um, gathering more information about this for other patients. Andrea, why is it important for patients to participate in clinical research studies like DynCD? Um, I guess at the root of it, it's just important for patients to get involved, period. Um, educate themselves, educate other people, um, whether that be another patient or um, their support team, so the people around them that are helping them get through this on a day-to-day -day basis. But um, the biggest driving factor for a lot of things that people don't realize is we have to put information that's backed through something, right? So any medicine that anyone's been on, so you can relate to that whether you have Crohn's disease or not, that's gone through rigorous studies and trials um, to have the data backing up why we are doing certain things, and that is really the importance of this study is getting the data to back up what people are, are hoping is um, something really tangible that they can, they can do to manage their disease. I'd like to thank you both for taking the time this morning to talk with us. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. Thanks.